Hey guys, welcome to Jobro Knives. Today I'm going to be talking about the Cold Steel AK-47. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, I believe this is the mini version. And, so, to open this knife, it is smooth enough that you can grab here, grab here, pull apart, and it opens. Very smooth knife. Very smooth. <coughs> Excuse me. And another thing is, before I forget to mention, they have their cold steel flipper thing on there. That they put on quite a bit of their knives if they'll focus in on it. Wow. Oh, well, I give up trying to focus it <laughs> but there's the flipper and this blade I'm not for sure of the shape because I'm not very good with knowing my blade shapes so if you know leave a comment tell me and this knife it's just so sturdy I can't believe it like the blade wiggle look at that nothing no up and down no side to side there is nothing wrong with this knife. <laughs> and, come on, focus. Focus, focus, camera. Okay, I think it's focused. This pocket clip does ride right on the texturing, which kind of sucks. Because this texturing, when you first get this knife, is literally like sandpaper. No joke. It feels like sandpaper when you get it out of the box. But I carried it for about a month. And in and out of my pocket, it wore it down a bit. But it's still very grippy. It's not going to let you slip anywhere. But it's not because I don't like the knife. I only carried it for a month. It's the fact that I... Really like my Smith & Wesson M&P Magic, so I went back to it. Back here on the back of this, they call this a strike face. Or I think that's what they were calling it. So basically, if someone is attacking you and you don't feel like you need to whip out a knife yet, you can whip this out, but I mean not very comfortable holding it like that you know slip off and that's plastic so you would probably get one hit with it and you're done not gonna get any more hits but this texturing let me see if I can get a good shot of it pretty sure it's G10 wow camera now you're just pulsing well that's the best shot I can get of it right now Ooh, that's even worse. But there's the handles. They feel great. I have medium, probably close to large size hands. And it just falls in place. I mean, it's so comfortable. It's like the most comfortable handle on a knife I have ever felt. And on the top, it's smooth. And in here, in the finger choils, it's smooth. So you have like that smooth, but that grippy feel all at the same time, and it just feels really nice. The pocket clip does not get in the way. Your fingers kind of land on it, but in the middle. So it's not in the way like at all. And I don't know if I mentioned already, but it has the triad lock that they have. That's very nice. Very hefty lock. Before I forget to mention, one last thing. It did come with an extra pocket clip for this side. I mean, if you wanted to, you could have two pocket clips. But that's a little, that would be a little odd <laughs> and useless. <laughs> but they came with one for this side to go along with the contouring shape of this side. But this one, because this one's contoured to the shape of this one side. But they do... And include the three 
three bolts, three screws, so it's held down really nice and tight. Probably not going to loosen up anytime soon. <laughs> but that's all I've got to say about it. And if you're wanting to buy one, I'd suggest buying it. And that's it.